Hi, this is Dr. Tom to talk to you once again about the uh, HCG diet or the HCG protocol. And again, I, I, I pick a lot of topics out depending on what type of questions that are sent to me from various people doing the diet. And I have several questions here they, that are kind of related to different things that happen through different phases of the diet. And one of the things that's asked that's, that's in phase two is that why is protein so important for weight loss and blood sugar stabilization in phase one? The vast majority of people who come into my office, my clinic, uh, to do the HCG diet <clears throat> do not eat well. It's almost impossible to take a person off of the street and say, okay, tomorrow I want you to start injecting HCG and to eat this wonderful diet of two servings of protein, two of vegetables, and two of fruit, and cut everything out. All those cravings, all those carbohydrates, all the all that alcohol, all that stressful eating, all that abnormal eating where uh, skipping breakfast and lunch and eating in the middle of the afternoon, waiting and starving your body. These are the type of things that we try to get out of people's lives before they go into phase two so they can be more comfortable and more successful on the diet. With that said, the whole idea behind protein is that protein has to be broken down in the stomach with hydrochloric acid, different enzymatic processes in the small bowel from the, from the pancreas, and then thus the amino acids absorbed <clears throat> and small you know, chains of amino acids absorbed into the body and then utilized. One thing that protein does is a protein is a building block for, for our muscles. So one thing is, is that you give people plenty of, plenty of protein if you have excessive amounts of protein, the body does have the ability to use protein for other nutrition. That is amino acids being converted into sugars that basically is what the brain wants. If you look at it this way, if you're using protein as a carbohydrate or a high energy source for the brain, it takes a long period of time for the body to digest this and to use these amino acids in this manner. Whereas sugars, tend to absorb very quickly cross the into the into the bloodstream and it's more simple the sugar is the quicker into the bloodstream the quicker rises in blood sugar levels and then the answer is insulin insulin getting abnormally high when people miss meals throughout the day they wait until they're starving to eat and they eat a large number of carbohydrates blood sugars rise very rapidly insulin levels rise even more rapid and blood sugars plummet to below a baseline sugar level causing hypoglycemia. When insulin is secreted, secreted in large amounts, you will store these calories and store them in fat. So one thing that's important to do to try to get people's bodies balanced before they start into phase two of the diet is to get this insulin balanced. The answer is to eat throughout the day, make sure that you have a good balance of protein, complex and simple carbohydrates along with good fats so that you have a nice even insulin throughout the day.